Hi there, Premier Guy here. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the slip tool. So, let's fire up Premiere Pro. Before we get started, you can download the footage that I am using today, from Pexels Videos and VidEvo.net. I'll put the links in the description for you guys. Why do we have to use the slip tool? Well, it's useful if we want to move to a different part of the turtle clip, but keep the same duration that we have already. If we use the selection tool and move the train clip away, then we can extend the turtle clip and trim a bit off at the start. That is all well and good right, but it has taken too damn long to do this, and the duration of our clip might not be the same as before. What do we do then? Well, thankfully Premiere Pro has a tool which enables us to change one part of the video clip to another part in that specific clip effortlessly, while keeping the same duration. Let's go to our toolbar and choose the slip tool, or the keyboard shortcut is Y. Next, go to our sequence and with our slip tool, click and drag the turtle clip. As we can see in the program monitor, it's showing the turtle clip, but what is Premiere Pro trying to tell us? Well, the left is telling us where the clip is going to start and the right side is telling us where the clip is going to end. We can also see the previous clip, and following clip, above of the turtle clip. We are going to put it around here. As we can see, the sound wave has changed in the sequence, as the clip has slipped, so that means we now have a new portion of the clip. That's it. You have now learned how to use the slip tool in Premiere Pro. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.